Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to the Lathrixian Isles, now five years away from the next Viking attack. So in today's video, hopefully, we will be able to defend ourselves a little bit better and actually kill some of the incoming Vikings. I also want to start expanding towards the north, just for more areas, just for more homes, and towards the south for a lot more farmland. So... Overall, let's just grow our population a bit. So right now then, obviously we need to put down more of the Ballista Towers and Archer Towers. My current thought is because it's going to be very difficult to completely wall off, is to have a little outpost here and a little outpost here, which mostly will comprise of Ballista Towers, not Archer Towers. The reason is just sheer range. That way they can cover the entire area and cover the center, whilst allowing our expansion to be a little bit safer. So that's the goal right now. So really, we do need more gold, so I will continue to expand our housing area. Now, I won't be naming any of the houses in this episode just because I'm not sure how they're going to be laid out in the not-so-distant future. Probably going to be knocking out some of these to put down some of the manors and stuff like that. And we have a house fire. Now, we do have two wells right next to that, so that should not burn down. Though people seem to be ignoring it. There we go! Well done, lads. No burning down of the houses today. Good to know. Now, these two houses, these two cottages, are the wrong way around in terms of their door is actually pointing in towards the center. But the thing is, it would look really weird if only this one was flipped. So we're just leaving that as it is. We're happy enough right now, but I do want some more people. I might save up for a festival. Might not, though. For now, let's just leave it as it is. So, with these defense areas, do I want to build them out of stone or wood? Wood would be a lot cheaper, but we do have a lot of stone spare, so I'm thinking here will be the outpost. Something like this. So we have two by two, and maybe put that four high, and then have one over here as well. That way we can cover most of our land. That's the idea, anyway. Okay, a little bit of a change of plan. Instead of doing the two-fort idea, which I will do later, right now, I think it's really important we just fortify the center of the town, because that's where the Vikings will always go, no matter what, and that's where we can do some damage to them. So I'm thinking Archer Towers and Ballista Towers. I want both. And I'm just going to use the regular wooden walls, because they're nice and cheap. So let's get all of those sorted, because even the stone walls still take up five wood, so it's only two more wood using the wooden walls, and of course no stone. Also putting down a well here, so this area is protected against fire. We only have four years. If we can get two ballista towers extra, two archer towers, I will be happy enough. Really want some more cottages though. Also look at this weird bug. Everything has the description and cost of the hospital. So I have no idea how much some of these things cost. Oh, now it's fixed. That was weird. We will need the library soon. Our people now want a church or a library, and I don't think I can really afford either. The church is more resource heavy, the library is more gold heavy. For now then, let's put down a couple more of these lovely, lovely houses, the cottages, so, so that we can get some more gold without overly taxing everyone. Then we need to save up for some ballistas and archer towers. So right now we have space for four of them. I'm going to definitely put down at least one ballista tower here, and then I don't really know. I really don't know. You'd think four foresters would be a little bit better at this. Ballista tower first. Okay, yes, that protects the entire center. They normally go for the treasury, and I think they go for the granary. I'm not quite sure about that. I'm still a firm believer of the Ballista Towers over the Archer Towers, but I understand it's good to have a mix. Yeah, that also protects the center. Maybe these two should have been swapped. Ballista Tower there, Archer Tower in the very center, but a little bit too late now. I don't think I get back the full resource if I cancel the build. And it's already started being built as well, and we have limited time, so even if I did get all the money back, I still would leave it. Two years remain. Hey, we are a burgeoning town. Fantastic. 
Also just realised something, I have not turned off the archer towers because it's the first time having them. So archers, off until battle begins. Now having them on would actually give them some experience, the workers some experience just by being on, but we need to save gold. One year, hopefully we can put down one more arch tower, so we have three arch towers, two blister towers. That will definitely not be enough by the way, we are definitely losing stuff when we get attacked. There we are. Here's hoping they come from the north then, since you have the most protection there. And the charcoal maker is now on fire. We do have a well next to it, but it seems like people are a bit busy. Oh no, it's the tree that was on fire. Okay, never mind. One year remains. Maybe we should just put that minimal size and see if we can build that up. I would try- you know what, I may actually just try and fully wall off this tiny centre soon, just have some doors going in and out. One year remains. Probably as soon as winter's over we get attacked. How's food going anyway? Good, food's good. The Vikings are attacking, of course they are. Where from? The North, and they have an ogre! Didn't expect that on the second Viking attack. Quite far away though, we actually have enough time to maybe build some more defense. A bit rushed, I actually know. Don't build it there. We're never going to build it there. Pause time. One more main blister tower. Since they're sending out ogres and blister towers are very good against ogres. Viking Raiders may be coming. Well, you know what? I feel like you may be right there. Gotta be honest. For some reason losing frames right now. No idea what's going on. Chance of that being built in time? Very minimal. Oh, we've got to turn them on, haven't we? Yeah, I was hoping not to, but we do. Also, food has gone to zero, despite the fact it said we're growing in food. That's odd. Either way, blister towers, arch towers, you're up. Builders? Actually, we have quite a few anyway. Ogre is in range. Yep, those arch towers are doing very, very little. Well done, those blister towers. Now, arch towers, it's your time to shine. Kill the little infantry guys. Where are they going? Did we scare them? Maybe we scared them because the ogre died next to them. I don't know how that works. Oh, come on. Don't let that stockpile go down. You were just putting water on it, but then the Vikings appeared. I forgot that the wooden walls are actually flammable. That's why you used stone walls, but you didn't have enough money for it, so oh well. Yes! Goodbye, Vikings! Anyone left? No, you're fleeing! You are indeed fleeing! Excellent! And hopefully our guys can put out the water. I can put out the fire with water. I can put out the water. The water is on fire. So we just lost a quarry and we lost... Yeah, that's very, very little. We lost almost nothing in that ride. Huzzah for frantic building. Okay, so now we can build and focus on some more um, infrastructure. Let's get our economy back from the brink, shall we? We really need some more people to get that gold income. Also put down some more farms, so now the food issue should be a non-issue. I mean, honestly, no one's starved yet. We've had no unhappiness because of it, so we should be alright. So next up then, we either need the church or the library. So yeah, the church just needs more wood and stone, the library needs more gold. We're not really using gold for much now, I'm not really focusing on defense. More on economy, even though this may mean we lose more in the next raid, I, f I feel like we just need to continue to grow a bit. So I do think the library will come first rather than 
the church. I was saying that the church should go here or here, which is really well placed. I mean here, sorry, the church should go here because it's like a three size, which would look nice. Not sure. Our first windmill is going down. And there is a dragon sighted, of course there is. I'll wait until the very last second before I turn on our defences. Yes, our new houses are down already, fantastic. And we can almost afford the library, just need a little bit more stone. Oh, you are so dead. Goodbye. And you are apparently inside the wall. You are apparently a Bethesda dragon. I said that name weirdly. But I stand by it. Okay, library. Kind of like it here, especially since we're going to have more houses over here. Putting it here is kind of neat, but here would be probably better. Um, like that? Yeah, that like both of the walk. Yeah, like that. That looks better. That should make people a lot happier and hopefully we'll get more people. Although right now we are happy because we just killed a dragon. So now's the time to continue our expansion. And yeah, the houses just look better this way around, I've got to be honest. So this is how I'm going to build the cottages. I am fully aware that they have only one door on this side, which is a bit weird placing them like that sometimes. But it just looks nicer mm. to be all uniform. I did turn them off, didn't I? Good. Excellent. Then I can put another one of those here as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Apparently we are currently struggling for charcoal. So what I'm going to do is put down a charcoal maker over here when when I eventually have some space and a small stockpile there I suppose only one charcoal maker for the entire um, empire right now is a little bit too little could have two here yeah sure it's out of the way enough oh yeah food's doing fantastic behold the power of the windmill so the Viking attack will be soon, so which side would I say is the most finished that I can wall up? I'd say here. Walling up this corner, because we're definitely not going to use this corner much, except for a few more foresters later. So wall up there, door here, wall around there. That will disrupt the farms, but this is like the centre. This is the centre village now. And I think it's time we completely wall up. This is going to take a while though. Uh, let's put both of the quarries back on. I currently have one off because I was doing other stuff. So both quarries back on because we want some proper stone walling. Taverns are too crowded. Build more. Let the booze flow! I've only just realised we have no access to iron at all. The only iron I can see is over here. And we're going to need tools to break down those rocks... And tools require iron, so I need to go all the way over here. So, do any of the small islands we're going to take over have iron? Yes, it does. So, this will be our iron island. Which I'm just going to call it iron island. This will be another stone island. This one over here is a stone. So, yeah, we're actually going to be quite iron starved this playthrough. That's a mild issue. That's a mild issue, but not an issue right now. Iron is definitely one of the lighter game things and not something I really have to worry about just yet. So I'm thinking... Oh, actually, we could put the wall here instead. Then the gate there. That would be the least interruptive with our farms. Problem is, always lovely fertile land. The very fertile land will be affected since I'm going to have to cut into it. But, uh, but saying that, doing this here means less. I don't really know. Oh good, it's straight away into salt water then. It's Oh wait, no, it's not deep water. Darn it, I have to go all the way out here. Yeah, trying to fully protect this place is going to be an absolute nightmare. At the very least, we can funnel them around and give our archer towers more time to damage them, I suppose. Well, may as well start it. I am going to go here instead, just because that's where I want to put it. Actually, that's not too bad, because we can have extra windmill, farms, wall. Okay, actually, yeah, that's fine. That's fine as well. Seven years until the next Viking attack. So, the original plan, of course, was to do the outposts. And I think, since we're going to be walling off like this, putting down the outposts in the corners will still work. So, outpost here, 
So I'll build this up before I build up the rest of the wall. Then I'll do the same over here, building the wall along, and then outpost here, then the gate. A bit like a gate house, basically. It's a very heavily defended gate house. Still not the best protection in the world, but hopefully, once again, it will protect the core from the Vikings next year. Well, in six years, I, I should say. So much fertile land I'm going to be destroying for this wall, but really, there's no way around it. I mean, look, it's fertile land all the way until the very end. If I want to wall off this section without using the maritime stuff, because that costs an absolute fortune, I'm going to need to do this. We are unhappy because our churches and libraries are too crowded. Try building more. I wish we had more stone, so I would love to build a church now. I could place it here, and it would give a bonus happiness, which is unique to the library's happiness, so we get double the happiness in range. But that requires like 80 stone, and I really need this to be done first, so... The walls come first. The walls come first, then after that we'll focus on the library. Well, there's a dragon over there, and apparently there's a dragon over here as well. Double the dragon. Oh my god, dragons got scarier. Since when can they do that? Yeah, you go down. Well, they took out almost all of our roads. And one of the taverns. Now, that's just a sin. Ooh, the gate's up there. Okay, so I'm going to put some blister towers on either side of the gate. Then I just need to fortify this side more. So some more wooden towers are going to come down just for... Honestly, just to hold a few blister towers. Towers for towers, lads. Towers for towers. It's just because with their limited height with the wooden walls, since they can only go three high, no matter how many walls are around them, the arch towers just don't seem as good because they just can't get any range. Didn't mean to do that. Seems like you do get most of the resources back, actually. Well, the Vikings are arriving, so I'm putting down the two blister towers now, even though they're nowhere near as high as I want them to. We're now saving up, and as soon as I get enough money, I'll put down some more blister towers over here as well. And by money, of course, I actually mean stone and wood. He's hoping these two can be finished in time, at least. That would be lovely to see. Come on, thank you. So at least we have two more blister towers now on both sides. And these walls will act as distractions because I had some spare wood at the time. Even a one high wall does something. That's the thing. Because it means the ogres have to breach it for the vikings to get through. Which gives us more time to shoot them down. Okay, which way are they coming from? Up north. Okay, so that stone wall is going to do nothing this turn. It's It does seem like they do know where to attack from. There is a bit of an AI thing going on there. I've even, I've even put down an extra forester right now. So we have six foresters. Five foresters, rather, going off rather than just four. Any ogres? Or is it just Vikings? Just Vikings, okay. Come on, I want one more Ballista Tower, please. Though maybe an Arch Tower wouldn't be too bad since they're probably going to go right past this one. But I do like my Ballista Towers. Ballista Tower there, Arch Tower next goes there. Okay, they're almost in range, about to turn them back on. Come on, let me start building this, probably won't be able to. Okay, yep, time to um, turn things on. That turning time is a killer. Thankfully, there is a well next to all of those walls. Now reaching the internal arch towers. There we go, one's down. That blister tower got fixed, fantastic. Come 
Come on, lads. I don't mind losing a few cottages, but come on, finish them off. Lovely blister towers went down. Yeah, the wooden walls are just not worth it. Okay. Well, that could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot better. If they attacked from this side, it would have been better. So, stone walls are needed, basically, is what we found out today. We just couldn't afford them in time. If you're homeless, help build the new homes. Look, everyone, there's a festival. Who needs homes when you have a festival, eh? Still need that church as well. Which I was going to build here. Hmm, maybe that was a mistake starting to build this cottage. You go away. Thank you. Almost enough for the church. Once the church is done, then back to focusing on defense at all cost. Yeah, the lack of stone is really bad. I mean, I just don't want to build a full wooden wall. I can do. It's just, as you can see, it's such a problem. But I guess if there is a full wooden wall and not all of it has the blister towers on, that might be good as well. I just, I don't know. Yeah, perfect size. Destroy you. And we have the church being built. And a new well can go here. A dragon has been sighted. Whoa, dragons have been sighted, you mean? And goodbye to the dragons. We are the dragon slayers. And as you can see, I'm building a wooden wall. So I want to see what will happen if there's a full wooden wall. Just need to make sure there's a lot of wells nearby. Can things stop being set on fire? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to put a well there, then the wall around it, as if it's fully protected. I think it might look nice. The well's there as well. The only weakness then is here. Honestly, we don't need this little bit of road, so sure, put a well there. Just to slow down the Vikings, so this time they have to go around rather than the straight through. Might do something. I don't know what it'll do. Maybe something. And we have the plague and still no doctors because I'm too focused on other things. Need 40 stone. Okay, that's the next thing we'll build then. We have the church now. Next we'll build a nice hospital. So do you get a bonus from church and library? Yes, you do. So 4 happiness and 12 happiness. Well done, church. Maybe having multiple layers of the wooden walls might be good. The problem is I can't see how our guys are going to get out to put out the fires when they inevitably get set on fire. But it would mean that our towers don't get set on fire instantly. Which would be pretty nice. Okay, those all down. We are now growing very quickly in comparison to two before, but sadly our stone supply is still terrible. So those just farms, weren't they? And that was an orchard. We still have plus food because we have these down now, so no real need to rebuild them, but I am being annoyed by them being there like that. Oh yeah, the hospital. It's horrible to say, but honestly, the plague doesn't do all that much. Sure, it kills the population, but as long as the basic happiness is retained, which it is, we get new people almost straight away. The plague does next to nothing while we're the size. Later on, when we're a much bigger empire, it takes a lot longer to recover from the plague because more of a percentage will die. Well, the same percentage will die, but a higher number will die. Then we definitely need the hospital. But right now, I just want more protection against the Vikings. Yeah, one high wall. That takes up like five seconds to break, by the way. But still. Dragon has been sighted along with its little pup. Or whatever you'd actually call a baby dragon. What'd you call a baby dragon? I have no idea. Please don't burn on our walls. Kill it. Goodbye, sir. I will avenge you, father. Or mother. Or great aunt Mercy. Okay, there we go. You are now dead. Lovely. 
I mean, I'd prefer to keep you as a pet, but considering... Um? Were they just carting away the... Is that a bit of the dragon? Guys, what did you just do? We're now eating the dragon. I... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Can someone explain? What are these red things? Guys? Are you eating the dragon? Tell your lord if you're eating the dragon, please. I don't know why, but I don't like that. Well, let's see if this actually works then, having two layers like this. At the very least, it's good against ogres, but we it's weird, isn't it? The wooden walls that are so big so bad against the normal vikings, but great versus ogres, because it still takes a while to break them down, they still have health and everything. Whereas the stone version are fantastic versus the vikings, but because they're so expensive, well you don't want even one to be damaged by the, by the um, ogre itself. There you go, lots of long range anti-ogre stuff, because obviously with the stone walls, only the ogres can get through them easily, so making sure the ogres go down first, very important. Now, I think we should put some of these piers down. I don't think they can run into the deep water, so if we can get all the way out, then that would cla- well, honestly, that would be classed as being fully protected. Plus, we need to do it soon anyway, because we have the docks and everything, which we need, because our stone income is just so, so terrible. And we have literally no iron income whilst we're on this island. I am starting to think maybe some archer towers might be nice. Yeah, let's do that. And they're nice and cheap as well, so three more archer towers there. Yeah, this place has so much offense, but not very much defense. Considering it's a wall, that's pretty weird. I've only just read this, and I wish I read this earlier. So this is the cathedral. Improves villager happiness in a very large radius. Vikings that enter its radius sometimes convert to peasants and join your kingdom. That's amazing. So I finished off some more of the walling here, so it's a bit more difficult for them to get around. We have loads of defense, and now the enemy are attacking from this side, which is actually pretty good, since we do have a lot of ballista towers here. The only problem I have is this side has no archer towers, so they are going to get through, but hopefully we can do some damage before then. Hopefully. Might actually try to force a couple of archer towers whilst they're attacking. Uh, no, it's not worth it. Well, here's hoping it'll do enough. Any ogres? Oh, look, a whale. It's a viking whale. God, that's a lot of vikings. That is a lot of vikings. Um, Cut down here. Let's try and put down some walls. Okay, here they come. Fire away. So what are you guys going to try and do? Okay, so you're going around this way. I'm confused about your current plan. Okay, you are going around this way. One group is already destroyed, which is fantastic. Forcing them to go this way instead of going straight to the walls are great. So straight to the road is great. They're already... Okay, group one is running away. Did a lot of damage to them. Okay, yep, another one down. We've actually killed most of them. There's only these three groups left. And now they're under attack by our archer towers. Perfect. And of course, the reason why we're focusing so much on the ballista towers here is because this this wall simply cannot be destroyed by the Vikings, only the ogres. So when it's finished, so when I have all of the maritime stuff going over here and through here, only the Vikings will allow access. So only the ogres will allow access. Is that all we lost? We lost almost nothing. Though there is going to be a dragon in a second. So that's always good. So yeah, I think now it's time to focus on these piers. Dragon sighted, so just keep on all that stuff. Once again, an adult and a baby. I feel bad about killing these ones. Speared by the well. Yep, yeah, it is definitely our people stealing parts of the dragon. And taking it home with them. I think the dragon is actually food. 
So with that, I'm afraid I really am all out of time for today's video. I think we need to start expanding again soon, otherwise we're going to stagnate and the enemy are going to get more advanced far faster than we can defend. But first, before we do that, we do need to put down the piers and thus stop the enemy from getting around the walls. Even if these walls are on fire, they can't get through them until they're completely burnt down and that takes a very, very long time. So during that time, we can, we can continue to shoot them and kill them and overall cause them a lot of pain in their butts. So we need piers here, we need piers here. Oh wow, that's a really bad one there. These two are going to basically meet in the center, aren't they? Okay, might need to do something different with this one. What I think I might do, since I do want a dock here, is take this stone wall down and then put the pier here and here. This still means the Vikings can land here and here, but they'll be under attack the whole way in. They're so close to our towers, and as long, and as, long as we defend this section this section with more towers, it means we can actually destroy their ships on the way in. So it would actually be almost beneficial for us. Still need some protection, though, so just really make sure these areas have as much protection as possible in terms of towers, but I will leave them open because it'll look much better for the docks. Just make sure if they do decide to attack here or here, they're going to really hurt for it. So if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Kingdoms and Castles is a series you wish to see continue in the future. I will be naming the houses soon, so if you do have any, any name suggestions, then please tell me in the comments below. I will be reading them all, and hopefully soon actually applying them. And this also goes for other buildings. It doesn't necessarily have to be a home if you wish to name a tavern, or even a farm, then please feel free to tell me. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.